Hello and welcome to the first part in a, like a mini series of videos whereby I talk about different blade steels. Um, today's uh, blade steel I'll be talking about is 8CR13MOV. As you know, blade steel, or should know, uh, blade steels on knives, they, they can be made from a number of different materials, but there are four most common types of blade steel. It's carbon steel, stainless steel, of which 8CR13MOV belongs to, tool steel and alloy steel. I'll go into all those different steels in the next video, but this video concentrates purely on 8CR13MOV. Uh, it's very common, particularly in like value range knives, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, different companies use it because it's just so cheap to, to produce. It's a bit of a dirty steel in that there are different elements in there. It's not like a kind of a clean steel like OS8, but it's relatively cheap to produce. Most of the time you'll, you'll get good results. Um, it all depends on the heat treatment and some companies' heat treatments are better than others. The, the actual steel itself, 8CR13MOV, the stainless steel, it's popular because it resists corrosion and it's also easy to maintain, but it's not impervious to rust or corrosion and it has to have a particular chromium content. That's what the, the CR stands for. The principle, I'll go into a bit of technical specifications, the principle of stainless steel is that in an oxidizing chemical environment, so obviously in, 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 the, in, in like this environment, because it's being attacked by oxygen, oxygen's attacking it, so ox, oxidizing chemical environment, the oxide, um, the chromium, is, is stable. Um, so the, the part in there, the, the chromium is stable, and when there's a shortage of oxygen, at least one metal is stable. So that that's kind. Of, I hope that you kind of understood that. But essentially, HCR thirteen MOV, uh, it falls in the same kind of category of the stainless steels, such as OS eight, CPM, CTS, uh, VG, and and of course MOV. There's there's a few others as well. But I will make separate videos on VG M steel and uh, CPM steels. But really, this HCR thirteen MOV. Uh, and 8CR14 MOV. It's very equivalent to OS8 value price and the steel for its its performance. It takes a good edge, but it's not as abrasion resistant as VG10 or S30V, and it is one of the easiest uh, knife steels to sharpen. So if if you're just starting out and you're looking at knives and you've seen these numbers like what what on earth is 8CR13 MOV about or anything like that, a lot of knives will have it written on. On the blade, um, Spyderco love to do this. I, th I think all um, knife companies should do this. It's not on these two Kershaws. Oh, it's on that one. Sorry, it's not on this one. On the uh, the one ton uh, by Kershaw. It's not on that. But I know that that's a 8CR13 MOV. What Kershaw did with those two, though, is they bead blasted them, which kind of like affects their <laughs> rust and corrosion. Uh, resistant slightly it makes the knife look nicer I suppose but yeah you, there's there's a downside to that whereas these uh, Spyderco ones they haven't been bead blasted and they're just a satin finish never had any problems at all with these knives and I've had them for almost three years now no rust or, or anything but like I said it's one of the easiest knives to sharpen so if you are just starting out to knife collecting and you're looking at all these uh, these numbers on knives and things and you're wondering what they are this is essentially if you're starting out, it's what you really look for. 8CR13 MOV, it, it's a kind of like a beginner kind of knife steel to to purchase and to just try out your sharpening skills because it won't hold its edge. If you're continually using it uh, every day for the week, you probably might need to sharpen it up a bit towards the, the weekend, put it that way. Um, but if you rarely use it, then yeah, you, you won't need to sharpen it that much. But it's easy to sharpen, so it's a, it's a great opportunity to assist with your, your knife sharpening skill. Its common hardness is 58 to 60. You can get a few rare ones that are 60 or 61, and it kind of depends on the manufacturing processes at the factory. Basically, it's a Chinese equivalent to OS8, but it is better than the 420 and 440 grade. So it's still kind of like, I wouldn't, it's difficult to say if it's a low grade steel. If it is, it's definitely very high up there because it does its job and it's a, it's just a value steel. Although if you're looking at something that will hold its edge a bit longer, um, but it is slightly more difficult to sharpen, I'd go for something like 440C. It's, it is harder 
Uh, and 440C used to be regarded as uh, a super stainless steel um, at, uh, for its time. But what does the 8CR13 MOV actually stand for? Well, according to Spyderco's steel chart, it's got 0.8 carbon, 13 chromium, 0.4 manganese, 0.15 molybdenum, 0.2 nickel, 0.02 phosphorus, 0.5 silicon, 0.01 sulfur, and 0.10 vanadium. You can have a look at Spyderco's steel chart in their 2015 guide, which I would strongly recommend you go out and uh, order for free, among other uh, knife steels. And that gives you some idea of, of what it's made of. You see, a lot of people, they, they might, if they're not really into knives and don't really know much about metals, they might just think that it's it's a blade, it's one steel, you know, it, it's either hard or it's soft. It's it's not as straightforward as that. There, there are a lot of different things happening with the materials that go in and um, the treatment and the matrixes. It's it With steel, you could have two tenaciouses being made in exactly the same place and uh, depending on the treatment and the way they get the mixture just right, you could have them both be be different, even though the the composition is is very similar. So I thought I'd just bring that point up. Is it a good steel? Yeah, it's a good steel uh, for for kind of like value uh, knives. I mean, you look at all the the value range here, specifically their bird knives, and um, they all have eight CR thirteen MOV. But I have heard from other sources that their bird knives are a little bit less corrosion resistant than the than the value knives even though same same composition so i just thought i'd mention that but that's uh, that's kind of on a hearsay um but i haven't had any problems with with either really uh it's a good workhorse steel you can put it through quite a lot yeah, you'll need to sharpen it, but it will just keep keep going. It is very soft. It's just a soft steel, so you will you can get a really excellent edge on it, super fine edge on it. But that edge won't really last as long as something like a VG10 or S30V. Now there are a couple of other similar steels to 8, 8CR13 MOV, such as uh, 8CR14 MOV. Um, it's just got a little bit of that molybdenum in it, which just just helps its. Uh, corrosion resistance that little little bit more and the Leong Ma uh, number five is is an example of that even though it doesn't say it on there it, it is uh, 14 MOV and the same for the uh, Jernigan uh, that's uh, 14 MOV so 13 14 it, uh, it does it they're very very similar even OS 8 is very similar for kind of how sharp an edge you can get you are literally splitting hairs but I would say OS8 you could get a slightly better edge but I think that it may well keep its edge a bit longer on uh, on 8CR. At this price point and at these lower, I say lower kind of end steels, it really is cutting it fine, um, no, no pun intended. So that's my kind of guide to knife steel to 8CR13 MOV. Just in a, as a recap, it's a great starting knife steel it's it's got huge potential it's very cheap to manufacture and produce and um it does what you want it to do for the for its price point really it's not exotic it's not exotically priced and uh it will in a nutshell it will cut things very nicely and uh, you'll also get to to practice your your sharpening skills which i think if you're going into knife collecting or, or buying knives uh, is a skill that you you've really got to uh, develop as well. But if you're just looking for a you know a one-off knife for the kitchen or whatever, I'm sure that you know a tenacious or or any kind of knife with 8CR13 MOV will be more more than sufficient. Very fine edge that's not too difficult to sharpen. So that's been my guide to 8CR13 MOV. If you have enjoyed this video, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. If something's wrong or you don't agree with anything in the video. Again, leave a comment, be vocal. My next video will be all about knife steels in general. So I'll go through the different types of stainless, carbon, alloy and tool. Give you some examples of them from my collection. Uh, so you've got some kind of visual examples. Please do subscribe as well. It helps me out. I've got a few things in the pipeline and I've got another knife, kind of knife related video coming out today as well. So I'll give you a bit of, bit of content. 
and I'll try and get some more videos out over the next few weeks. So thanks ever so much for watching. Take care.